copying, okay? So, uh, I want you to be blessed with our story, no? the cookie tip. Amen? Are you blessed with the story of the three wise men? Yes. Yes. Do you know why they are called wise? Huh? Because they know whom to worship. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So our story begins with the story of the cookie tip. Amen? Amen. So the cookie tip, there is a there is young lady. No? She is waiting for her, uh, her flight in the boarding room of a big airport. No? Nagpunta po siya sa airport, papunta siya ng Pilipinas. Tapos po bumili po siya ng tinapay, ng cookie. Okay? So pag po niya ng cookie, okay, umupo na siya, nagpabasa siya. Pag upo po niya, no, meron siyang upuan, may bakanti po upuan, doon po niya nilagay yung kanyang cookie, yung tinapay niya. Pero meron po siyang katabi. Amen. <coughs> So, hapag kumakain po siya, umukuha siya ng tinapay doon sa kanyang pinagay na ano, no? <coughs> He noticed, napansin niya po, yung katabi niya, kumukuha din ng tinapay. Pagkuha niya ng isang cookie, di ba yan? Di ba bumili siya ng cookie niya, Nina? Pagkuha niya ng isang cookie, yung katabi niya, dalawang cookie ang kinuha. So ano po sa palagay niyo nangyari doon sa babae? Galit na galit siya. Habang kumakain po siya, galit na galit siya. Okay? Sabi niya, kapal na ba na mukha nitong katabi ko? Kain ng kain sa pagkain ko. Sabi niya, no? Hanggang sa itong lalaki, ngumingiti pa yung katabi niya, no? Ngiti na, ngumingiti pa sa kanya. So umuusok. Kung saan tali po, huwag niyo po munang ibigay kasi ipagpe-pray po natin ang ating mga kamay. Financially blessed, pagpe-pray. Wait lang, wait lang po. Bisa mga kapatid, makinig po kayo. There is power in the word of God. No? Ito pong babae na to, kain siya ng kain. While eating one cookie, the other man besides besides her is taking two cookies at that time. No? She become very angry. Galit na galit siya. No? After that, the last cookie, the last cookie, no? Binrock pa nung lalaki at binigay sa kanya. Sa galit niya po, no, he, she's very angry, she took it, no, and so, uh, she, uh, umalis na siya. Paglabas niya po, hindi na siya lumingon, no, and then, she go to the CR, no, pagkunta niya po ng CR, tinignan niya po yung kanyang bag, kukunin yung supply, no, she want to comb the, her hair. So, ano po nangyari? Nakita niya yung kanya. Cookies! Ganun po ba tayo, kapatid? Ganun tayo minsan, di ba? Galit na galit tayo dun sa kumukuha ng pagkain natin, akala natin, sa atin yon, Amen? How many of you, sometimes we feel very angry at God or very angry at a pastor or a church? They are taking our money. Oh, here again. Once again, they are taking my money. No? Do you think All this money is yours? Akala po ba natin lahat ng pera na yan ay sa atin? Sino po dito ang naniniwala? Do you believe that God needs your money? Do you believe that God needs, uh, the, uh, that the, this church needs your money? It's only secondary, brother. It's only secondary. Kapatid, the real truth No, yung sinasabi nilang gagamitin niya sa church, pangalawa po yun. The first primary reason why God is asking you to give is not for the church. Because the church, kapatid, He can survive even without your money. God can survive even you did not give money. Right or wrong? Right. It's right. Amen, right? Amen. What is the first reason why God is asking us to give? To bless us, right? Yes. It's not for the reason that God, the, the church, God will use your money. No! The church is not an orphan. The church can survive even you will not give, kapatid. No? Why, kapatid? There is a clue. Sabihin mo nga, sa katabi mo, there is a clue. There is a clue. To your abundance. That's yeah, your abundance. It's tight. With your obedience. Kung susunod ka, kapatid, no? do not act as if you own everything. 
in this earth. No, This money that belongs to your pocket is not yours. This is given by God. Who is the owner of your money? God. So God, nandito po siya, nagpunto siya. He gave a, 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 a command. No? When you see sa Bible po, when you talk about tithing sa pag-ika po, no, hindi niya sinabing give. Magkaiba po kasi yung give at saka bring. Sa Bible, pag binasa mo sa Malakias, no? you see, in Malakias, there is a difference between bring and give. For example, we give Kuya uh, Eric, we, we entrusted Kuya Eric a car. So I will ask Kuya Eric, Kuya Eric, bring me the key. The key of the car. Kuya Eric will not come to me and say, Oh, I will give you the key. It's no big deal, kapatid. No? The key, hindi niya po pinagharapan ng sasakyan. Di mo ba? He did not buy the car, right? The church gave it to you. So when the church will say, Bring the key. No, who is the real owner of the car? It's not to you, Eric, right? Yes. Who is the real owner of the car? God. It's God. 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 Right? Hey, kapatid, do you know that in Malachi, when you say tithe, tithe, you know in the whole Bible, in the whole Bible, you will not see any challenge. No? You will not see any test. God says, test me. No? Wala kang makikita, kapatid, na sinabi niya, subukan mo ako. Dito lang po sa pag-iika po. Kaya, kapatid, your millions... Kung gusto mong maging milyonaryo, kapatid, if you want to be a millionaire, no? follow the power of tithing. Follow tithing. Kapatid, I, I challenge you, I dare you, mag, mag tithe ka in one year. Pag walang nangyari sa'yo, we will, the money back to you. We will bring the money back to you. No? Kuya Eric, nag tithe. What happened to you? Promotion, right? Yes. And many blessings. Kuya Edwin, what happened to you? Huh? Promotion. Huh? Kapatid, I am not joking you. My life, our lives, began with tithing. There is power in tithing. Kapatid, when, when you tithe, no? God can uh, you can become a distributor. Kapatid, you want to distribute money? Huh? Now we have the, uh, the taxes, no? In January, we have the taxes. We have many money to pay. In this economic crisis, but kapatid, when you experience, when you uh, uh, exercise the power of tithing, you will be exempted to all the economic crisis. Amen. Amen. So who wants to be millionaire? Amen. Come, let's go. Magbigay po tayo ng pera sa Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Let's experience the word maging alive po sa buhay natin. Amen. Pray, 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 pray. Let's pray. Pray, pray po. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray first. Come and... Patuloy tayo siyong kamay. Let's pray for your uh, blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Truly, you are the Lord of everything, oh God. We acknowledge, oh Lord Jesus. Oh God, this financially blessed hands, oh Lord God. Your sons and daughters, oh Jesus, you saw their heart, oh God. The willingness, oh God, to obey your word, oh God, in tithings and in offering, oh Lord Jesus. I declare, oh Jesus, that you will rebuke the devourer, oh God, oh Jesus, in their lives, oh Jesus. You will rebuke the pest, oh Lord God, in their harvest, oh Jesus. I declare right now, oh Lord Jesus, money is coming, oh Lord Jesus. Oh, money is following us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare right now, not just money, but millions, millions coming, oh Lord Jesus. Lord God, use us, use our lives, use, the, use every one of our lives, oh Lord Jesus, to be used mightily in your harvest, oh Lord Jesus. We want to be a part, oh God, to be a partner with you, oh Jesus, oh God. Use our lives to be distributor of money, oh Lord Jesus. Oh God, to be a blessing to others, oh Jesus. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We want to experience the power of tithing in our lives, oh Jesus. We will, as we bring everything, oh Lord God, continue to bless us, oh Lord. Right, right now, we declare promotion, bonuses, oh Lord Jesus, in all of our lives, oh Lord. I declare, oh Jesus, uh, explosive blessings will come our way, oh Jesus. People will not be able to deny our blessings, oh Lord God. People will not be able to delay our blessings, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the saints will say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.
Thank you. 